Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video. Today we will be visiting uh, my hometown, beautiful town, which is Manali. So we are going from my, my village, which is Haripur. And from Haripur, we will be moving towards Manali. And we're going to see a lot of different places. Right now, where we are, it's it's called Mansari village. It's near to Karja. And you can, see, you can see the beauty. It's so amazing. Right now, it's the winter time. So you're not seeing any greenery. But you're still seeing the green forest because they are evergreen forest. But you're not able to see leaves on the apple trees. So as you can see, this will be the typical view when you move from, especially from the Nagar, uh, towards Manali you will have a nice road it's it's not that good but it's it's fair uh, fair enough to accommodate at least two vehicles at a time so you can see the road is beautiful on the left side what you will see are these beautiful mountains huge mountains and on the right side the same thing uh, you will see well, huge mountains with a lot of snow on it so right now you are you are reaching we are reaching to the next village which is Karja so you will have different villages after a small interval of time after a short distance and every village has its own system there are people that governs the the day-to-day -day life work and then you have another village where you have different types of uh, you know cultural activities going on uh, there is not that much difference but but still you know people they are different and if you have seen my videos uh, you have uh, already seen what kind of a household we live in what kind of atmosphere we have uh, one thing let me tell you the people are amazing the environment is amazing it's beautiful out there if you haven't visited Manali and if you haven't traveled Manali I just assure you that you're gonna have blasting experience if you visit Manali uh, when you reach um, Karja after Karja you'll have another village called Thamsu and in Thamsu you'll see this beautiful track which will go through the mountains and you'll have a amazing experience people you will see here doing cycling there are a few resorts here you can also even stay in here or around here and you will have a good experience the cost uh, how much will it cost you uh, well that depends upon the uh, you know facility available that depends upon the room but it will not going to cost you higher than the manali town manali town is basically is a bit crowded so if you want to enjoy a little bit uh, you know self-limiting space so you must visit to the left bank side of the uh, Manali to Nagar road and you will see a lot of hotels you will see a lot of uh, different places there are so many places where you can hike you can uh, you know do mount training exercises you can do a lot of lot of outdoor activities so this is this is how it's going to be uh, the view when you go from Dhamsu to Manali so next after this amazing road you will see another village which is Sazla so you will have a lot of different villages uh, during during your travel from from Kulu to Manali via left bank and when we when we uh, cross the Sazla you'll see again then the road will go through the mountains and you'll see a lot of different trees see the beauty of Manali is you'll have a lot of different places like you can see Rothang Pass you can see Piaskun you can see Gauri Shankar Temple you can see Hadimba um, uh, uh, Harimba Temple, you will have a lot of um, museum. You can see old Manali town, uh, and you can you can visit such a, such an amazing such an amazing places like like you're seeing right now. So, if uh, you're interested in visiting Manali, so I would say if you want to see snow, you should visit in the winter time. If you want to enjoy the cool, amazing weather, you can see greenery, you can visit uh, in the summertime, but anytime you will visit, you will be mesmerized by the beauty of uh, uh, the Manali town. So you will have a lot of different villages. Now we are reaching to the next village which is Kaknal. So I've spent my entire life in here. So I just remember all the villages that we have a lot of relatives uh, in these villages, a lot of friends around. So we'll have a lot of different types of festivals, a lot of uh, different melas where, you know, people from one village can interact with the other uh, 
uh, villagers and they'll have uh, you know social interactions that's a typical means of the social interaction you can go and anytime visit your friends you can go and anytime visit your relatives that's the beauty of the himalayan villages that's the beauty of the himalayan town another thing you will see that a lot of con construction constructions is going on in here that that is um, that is going to happen because a lot of people they are attracted towards these uh, these villages they are beautiful they are good source of revenue they can generate a lot of revenue uh, the revenue that comes from different sources for the local people includes uh, the fruits vegetables and fruits is the especially the apple for apple farming the environment is uh, highly suitable and because of that local people earn a lot a lot of money and people from outside also come here for the uh, employment and then they they also share the revenue with the local people so apple farming is one of the important feature uh, of the himalayan villages especially manali kullu you'll find shimla and kashmir a lot of uh, apple farming has been done and you can see the beautiful snow that's the that's the perfect view for me i don't know what you you guys like when you have greenery then you have white snow spread around on the ground and on the trees that's a beautiful uh, view to watch and after this you know you'll see a lot of constructions also going on and um, you know i must say this this is a little bit slower and i hope that uh, you know the construction and the uh, construction of the roads and the pools they should be better because you get the travelers all around india all around the globe basically and they visit the place and that's the impression you get from the different places that uh, how much development is being done the development is slow one reason could be it's a hilly region and a lot of challenges are there you can see just to build a small road you have to uh, basically uh, you know cut down the huge mountain and then construct the road another another uh, important aspect is the parking problem you'll see cars everywhere so this needs to be taken care of this is really really frustrating especially when you are driving you will see a lot of congested places and people they are not worried about so that needs to be taken care of it's beautiful area we can construct a lot of parking places um, but that depends upon the awareness and that depends upon the motivation anyway so we are getting closer closer to manali town and you're seeing the mountain that is the mountain which is called the manali mountain so rotang pass is visible to you uh, once you started to see this mountain range that means you're closer to manali and you get excited you get you know pumped up with the adrenaline in your body and you can see the the beautiful mountain ranges so this it seems like now the valley is getting closed and the manali is the town which will just be in the lap of these uh, these valleys so that is the mountain mountain range in front mountain range that will block the lawn city from the manali but right now what we have is amazing adult tunnel so this is how you know development happens you need resources to construct um, these these roads and once you have these roads we basically because of the adult tunnel you don't have to go to the rotang uh, rotang pass to go to lahul spiti you can directly uh, reach lahul spiti from manali through the adult tunnel so this is beautiful because because it takes so much time and it's really really dangerous path but if you if you want to you know enjoy the view that is that is not possible in the atal tunnel because this is a tunnel but rotang pass is amazing especially people go out there they see the beautiful places rotang pass is amazing so as you can see now we are getting closer to the manali town and slowly slowly lot of hotels Uh, and a lot of constructions you will you will see a lot of homestays and then you will start to see a lot of snow also because uh, nali town itself is on the little bit of the higher side and then the other villages that's why you get the snow in manali earlier than the any other village uh, close to manali so it's the on the higher side then you have a lot of villages uh, which are on the higher level than the manali so you get uh, Uh, snow 
earlier in those villages so you can go and stay over there also and a lot of lot of tourism is getting attracted towards the villages which are on the higher side of manali including burwa you have uh, nergon so there are different places you can go which is on the other side of the manali town so you can see holiday inn look at that beautiful hotel you want to stay in there a lot of celebrities they come here a lot of uh, uh, you know bollywood stars they they like to stay here this is one of the famous destinations for rich people i would say so you can go from here and see how many hotels you are seeing on the both sides a lot so one revenue source is the tourism then you get a lot of hotels in there and that's another source of income for you and see the mountains they are getting closer and the, the beauty of uh, the the hilly towns and the in the manali is basically the blue sky with the green mountain and the snow that's a beauty and you can see how less is the pollution here you'll get clean air and i'm sure slowly slowly the amount of pollution that is happening in our environment is going to uh, you know completely destroy many places so we have to be very careful where we are heading we have to be very careful how much we are doing how much uh, development we are doing and how much impact of that that development is happening on the environment anyways so right now where we are we are uh, we are a little bit closer to manali we are not in the manali but you'll see a lot of uh, big hotels they are coming in our way so you are Mm, uh, close to the Manali and uh, here you have a man, man training institute where you can get training you can get hands-on training on uh, mount training equipments you can get training on how to climb a mountain you can get training on various on the left side you have seen just just we, we just cross that so you can get trained on that one after that you can you know go and hike the mountains you can join in with the clubs and then you will enjoy go out in the mountain ranges and uh, you know see the views you have a lot of peaks uh, on the both side you can see and they are pretty pretty beautiful peaks you can also visit solangnala which is which is um, on the other side of the of these mountains and the place is um, beautiful you get a lot of paragliding activity over there a lot of uh, winter sports is uh, going over there skiing hiking photographic a lot of things you can do so now we are almost in the manali town so you can see uh, you know one hotel after one you will see a lot of constructions because that's the requirement a lot of people will come to visit manali so they need to stay that's why you have a lot of hotels in there well, one thing that is good about manali on the left side you see that forest area that is conserved area so i i'm really really glad that at least this region is untouched uh, for the human activity and no construction so it's basically going on in this particular region it's called one viha you can go over there you can visit you can uh, you know enjoy yeah, the nice weather so this is the center right now we are in the in the center of the manali town so it's a little bit congested you'll see you know small and big shops on the left and the right side you will see dc office which is on that side you'll see banks so this is a typical view of the manali town and from where we are heading we are heading from the manali uh, you know central region to the hadimba temple so this is the way to hadimba temple so you can see i'm i'm riding uh, right now i'm uh, traveling in vitara frisa so another vitara frisa cane so we can we can you can simply judge how how big the road is the view it seems like it's a little bit congested but you know it, it can accommodate uh, two cars at one time so it's okay so you can visit through this place and directly go to hadimba town Hadimba, um, Hadimba Temple. So this is also beautiful place to visit. You can enjoy over there. A lot of trees are there. Huge trees are there. The atmosphere is uh, more like a forest area. So th this is something that I, I'm sure you have enjoyed. And you know, I will make new videos on specific places, specific destinations, and uh, I'm sure that you're gonna like those videos. And if you like the video, then please do, uh, you know, like 
uh, like the content and uh, subscribe to the channel i'll i'll bring more videos uh, in near future and i'm sure you're gonna enjoy the travel with me you're gonna enjoy the view and you're gonna learn more about uh, different different places in the manali area i will tell you about my favorite places i'll tell you about the places that you should visit maybe you won't like them you will like uh, or you know it depends upon your preferences i'll tell you these are the different places and this is the route and i i frequently travel from manali to shimla and other places i really like uh, the especially the you know himalayan feel of uh, himachal pradesh not of the you know which is plain and which is not that fill up with the mountains uh, well dep that depends on my preference so i'll meet you in my next video where we will see more places interesting places and i'm sure you're gonna like all those videos till then take care